slow bridge. Slow bridge. We'll look at what's over there in a minute. For now, we're over here. You know, the, the I'm, I'm pretty sure we're supposed to be finding another security center and like fixing it again, but like, I don't know. I'll take that. Vale needs some IT people, because, well, are we in Vale? I'm pretty sure we're in Vale. Yeah, they need some they need some IT guys to keep those things running because it's kind of can't be sending students in to fight Grim every time one of your command centers breaks. Oh, oh, yeah. No, see, that's what I'm talking about. It should wait until you fall off the ledge to uh, spawn all the Grim in, like that did right there. Um, I was not expecting the Grim right now because there's nothing around here, but but yeah, that that is what it should do if it wants to surprise you. All right, well, good news. I made it up here, and they're having a hard time getting up here. So now I can, uh, yeah, now I can pick them off from up here. Yeah. Oh, I wonder if Nova would affect them right now. Lag, okay. Yeah, I don't think Nova affected them because I'm above them. I think I need to be on the same, same ground as them. But yeah, I can uh, use my... I, I wish I could aim a little more down, but these are path-finding, uh, you know, target-finding... Perfect form? Um, yeah, perfect form for a sniper. Yeah. Is oh. That is that it? Why is yours so sassy sometimes? Alright. Yeah, see, that's... I think that's new. Maybe that's... I actually, that probably isn't new music either. I don't think it is. Alright, I miss anything? Get everything? Oh, more crates. Let's break open. One of those wasn't a crate, one of those was white and it had like a symbol on the side. I don't know what it was. Um, okay. All right, we're gonna be more, I'm guessing this is a large area. I'm guessing there might be some more Grim here. I'm just walking along the path though. Maybe if I stick to the path, nothing bad will happen. All right, so I can go that way or I can go this way. I wanna see what's up here first. So I just came out of that castle looking area. It wasn't very secure in there. So I don't know why they built a castle, but uh, they did. And walk along. Man, there wasn't even like a an artifact up there or anything. Alright, I'm gonna stray off the path here. Kill that crate. See another crate over here. Gonna go kill this crate. And by kill, I of course mean like destroy because oh boy. Okay. All right. Hasn't started yet. Don't worry. Music has not changed yet. <laughs> I saw the uh, health bar appear at the top of the screen. There's another artifact. Another one for my Ulex collection, once again. And... Okay. You know, I really shouldn't have been using artifacts, like, for student activities. Like, those artifacts are valuable. They should have used, like, something a little less, like, irreplaceable. Something a little less, you know, valuable for the students to go and find. Because, like, artifacts. Like, what if one of your students, like, doesn't come back? You know? Is this a cage? I cannot enter it, but I wonder if this is for caging. Oh, maybe he's gonna ask me to grab a Grim for him. Oh no, there's lots of cages. All right. Boy, this is interesting. I'm gonna go kill this crate before I start this boss, not boss fight, but before I start this, this next fight here. I can go over this way. Else. All right, so I can run back here to retreat. Finding all the places I can retreat ahead of time this time. What's over in this corner? Guessing I can't go over there, right? Invisible wall. Okay, over there is just okay. All right, I'm just ready. Just as I thought, more sabotage from our friend with the symbol. But our friend with the symbol. Was someone trying to capture Grim? Yep. Hmm. I mean, you've done it too. The looks of this. I mean, for now, let's just focus on the objective. Defend that control so I'm trying to capture the damage. Why, where are you? Why, why are you calling me on the phone if you're close enough to undo the damage? Um, all 
Alrighty. I still am wondering a little bit what that B button does. Uh... When the B button hovers above the Grimm's head? Still not sure what that does. But yeah, like, Professor Port, he himself captured a Grimm and then, like, set it upon a freshman on their first day of class. Oh, that a quarter of the way there already? That was quick. Dare I say a little too easy on that first wave. I'm looking for more of a challenge, actually. So uh, if you could just send your toughest Grim, maybe I shouldn't ask for that. I am having no issues so far, though. Okay, I'm now having issues. Can I get on top of this thing? Can I? Oh. All right, Aura's back. Sorry, uh, stop talking for a second there. All right, I'm gonna use our ultimate there, and... Oh, so if you hit them while they're stunned, it does more damage, maybe. Can I not get on top of this thing, please? Man, I wanted to get on top of that thing and snipe them, but I don't think I can do that, because the game developers are at least... You know, they, there's a lot of things about this game that aren't exactly... Um, aren't exactly like the smartest game design decisions coming from a person who's not a game designer, but at least um, you can't get on top of those crates because that would be too OP. Hey, yeah, Weiss, could you not get hit uh, like that when you're when you're casting your glyphs? Oh, three or four complete. Okay, so usually, oh, all right, let's see how many it throws at me at once. So if it's one at a time, I can handle it, but... Wait, well, that, that was it? No, that wasn't it. Why would that be it? Hey, that didn't, that didn't stun him very well. Alright, yeah, my Nova attack did not stun the Borbatusk, good to know. And I'm hearing something... Oh, oh, these guys again. No, th these are easy. Just take one... One of these three hit attacks each, and that they just go right away back into dust. Um... And they go and become more grim. Uh, like, I wonder how many... Like, how big is the grim bank? Like, we, we know that it's an endless cycle. Like, since the grim... You know, they just keep coming, but then when, when you kill them, the dust stops. Like, what if they're all... Every time you see a Grim, it's coming from, like, the same hundred pounds of Grim dust. Alright, let's I've hear what he has to say. A report. Hmm. What'd the report say? That's right! The symbol we've been seeing belongs to Merlot Industries. It's an old research and development corporation, far before your time. The oh, company was crippled before Shmi, by the collapse of Mountain Glen where they lost their primary facility and chief staff members. They never recovered from the incident and eventually shut down. Which begs the question, why is their technology suddenly popping up in the Emerald Forest? Hmm. I've never been one for riddles and history. Really? I'm a man of action, if I do say so myself. Hmm. But I think I know someone who can help. Ublek? Ublek? Do we get to see Ublek? All right. Zero deaths that time, and that's actually a real number this time. I don't think I died this whole second chapter, so that's awesome. Um, all right, mysterious symbol links to... Oh, okay, I didn't get to read that whole thing. That's cool. All right, the collapse. Okay, so this time it says get ready, the collapse. All right. I'm going to step away from the computer for just a moment so I can uh, refill my water again. And also empty some water you know make room for more if you know what i mean so yeah gonna be right back all right back i'm actually wondering how to exit the game so this uh, you can select character and then refund skill points removes purchased abilities and refunds all skill points for the selected character only so i wonder if you can hop between different characters you wouldn't get as far because your your skill points would go toward different characters as uh upgrades Hmm. All right, well, I'm gonna click play. All right. New skills. 
You can survive more damage after your aura is depleted. Ooh. So I got I got more points now. Your aura recovers much faster. That would be nice. Um, ultimate pool increases by one. Oh, you can save up more than one ultimate. Okay. All right. And then... I still don't know what Frostbite does. <laughs> still not sure what Frostbite does. Okay. Alright. I'm very... Alright, so I don't use Nova as much. So see, I'm only 7% of the way toward that next Nova upgrade because you need to defeat enough enemies with Nova a certain number of them with Nova to earn that upgrade, whereas Barrage is, you know, is what I'm spamming most of the time. Now, why does this say, like, defeat enemies with Nova? Defeat... Oh, hey, hey, lag. Defeat enemies with Nova. Defeat enemies with Frostbite. And, uh, defeat enemies with ranged attacks. Why doesn't it say uh, defeat enemies with Barrage? Kind of weird. Um... <sighs> All right, but I'm 80% of the way toward getting that one, so that'll be cool. I don't know how many points it'll be to buy once I unlock it. Uh, revive teammates. Okay, so this is a multiplayer one that I'm not going to get in this. Um, this is ultimate attacks. Ranged attacks is Weiss, a.k.a. Barrage. That's so weird. Um, then it phrases it like that. Slugger... Super Snee reached level 10 is wise to unlock this ability. Counter enemies is wise. Alright. Is there a way I can... Alright, if I exit... I don't want it to, um... Lose my progress is the thing. What I can... You know what I can do? Is I can just pause this virtual machine. And then it'll be like I never left. Alright. But then it also won't truly save my game. Hmm, what do I want to do? Just gonna Google real quick Ruby Grim Eclipse single player save. Because, yeah, I don't want to lose my progress. Alright. I'm going to do this on the virtual machine level. For the record, we're just starting the collapse, I think. So we are going to Let's see if we suspend and quit. Preserve your environment and data for later use. Yes, that is what I want. All right, good. This is exactly what I want. All right. So I don't know how to actually save my progress, so I am going to.